Hi, uh, this is Steven uh, from SGV. Okay, so today I'm gonna explain about uh, picking, about picking a serialized item, or in this case, uh, picking the uh, phone with the email number. Email number, uh, we capture it as a serial, a serial number for every uh, piece of uh, item right in this case it's a handphone right it's a mobile phone okay so uh as you can see here okay so i have the uh, uh lpn or an id right uh in the outer case right in the outer case uh consists of uh consists of 10 10 iphone inside 10 each yeah 10 each so if you bring uh drill down okay you can see the detail and we go to the serial then we can see actually this 10 these are the email number these are the email number or serial serial number right the serial number we can call it email we can call it anything like email one email two so this is about the serialized uh, uh, inventory right serialized inventory okay so uh in this case, uh, the question is, uh, when I do picking, right, do I need to scan the serial number one by one or not, right? So uh, the uh, the the answer is that uh, yes, yeah, yes. If uh, uh, if the picking or is the order require less than a outer box which is the 10 in this case right if the order is less than uh, the system will automatically ask which serial number or which email number that the user uh, taken out from the outer box right so uh, because this is like you capture it uh, in the outer box uh, of 10 right you capture it every email number and this is this system is basically a, a real-time system, right? It's a real-time system. So the moment uh, you take out uh, from the 10, you take out uh, 2, right? The system will ask straight away because it's a real-time, right? The system will ask uh, which 2, which email number of the 10 that you took, uh, the, the user taking for the order, right? Automatically, the system will ask. That's for sure. Because the system is a real time, right? The moment you pick, you take out. The system will ask which one you take out, right? Which two you take out, right? So that that is the uh, base of the, you know, the the concept of the serialized uh, inventory, right? So if you imagine like a physical, you have an outer box, you have ten iPhone inside. If you take two, obviously the system will say which two. Right, because it's a it's a, at the moment uh, the system is a real time right at the moment when you take out the system still have to ask because you cannot delay because when you delay and at that time if there is a cycle count right or or there is a uh, uh, anything that uh, need to check the inventory so the the system uh, cannot he has to straight away report that this currently being taken out or this uh, uh and which serial number that is the balance at the moment right so this is a real time inventory so the system will ask right so in this case what i'm going to explain is about uh if you have uh, there's a question right basically if you if you if you taking uh, one uh, whole carton do i still need to uh, need to scan the 10 the question, uh, the answer is no, right? Because now you already have an outer carton with the uh, with the ID, and uh, inside you have ten. The system know which ten. But if you if, if the order one or multiple order that we actually clubbing together or we are actually uh, 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 wave together, right? So in this case, or uh, pick together. So in this case, the system will not ask will not ask because even though this is two orders right two orders uh, and it's taking five five out of this outer box 
and is uh, doing it together the the system will not ask at the at the picking side because obviously that uh, the system already know the moment you take the whole uh, uh, carton right means that the, the whole ten serialized like this is being taken out from the rack right so the system know then that's why uh, the system will not ask anymore okay so that that is the concept that we have to understand right so uh, the, in this example we have a wave right we have, in this wave we have two orders yeah for different customer but actually we wave it together right uh, for example this is uh, for delivery to the same area or, or to the same type of uh, store or anything right that we wave together with the uh, consist of the uh, two right so when uh, there is a picking time okay so we actually will have a uh, uh, two picks right two picks uh, list pick okay we can call it a list pick yeah in this case yeah so uh, 83 and 84 okay so uh, there will be a list pick uh, order is five 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 asking for five five okay then after that the list pick is also taking from the five from the same palette id or from the same id which is the same outer carton five five which is actually one uh, uh, carton right so we scan the first uh, list pick number or pick list number okay and then the two id uh, that's the destination right it can be uh, so for sample purpose we can just change it to the two id right then enter so scan the two id okay leave it empty so it's one list pick right so you can have the next one okay same thing but uh, i change it to the two id Okay, because this is for, for two orders, so we, we split it, right? Even though you can see later that when you do uh, picking, right, it will be together. Okay, so now we already have the two list count. Then we actually do the done, right? So it's asking uh, to take, because it's uh, allocated it's, uh, to the, the same uh, uh, LPN, right? It's actually uh, showing the LPN and then it's 10 piece. It's asked you to go to the location and then take this LPN or, or this ID and then from this location and take uh, 10, right, together. So when you say, okay, you scan the, the ID, right, confirm the location on the rack, you scan it, then 10, right, okay. So the, the picking is done actually, right? The picking is done. Now the only thing is that you need to put it, right? So after you pick 10, now you put to the 2 ID, which is the first one, first order, right? First order. Okay. And it's 5, right? So in this case, why is asking now? Because you already tried to split the from the outer carton of 10 you sp split to one order 5 and the other order 5 that's why it's asking and this one can be done when you actually do the picking right it is already in the on the staging right when you try to put it you already took and then uh, it's complete right and then you try to put right then when you try to put then it's asking for the serial number Okay, so this is uh, asking for serial number. So uh, let me see the serial number. Let's say the first one is this one, right? 29. So we scan the serial number. And then we go back to D. The second one. And then we... And uh, so four, the fourth one, last one, which is the fourteen. Okay, fourteen. Fourteen. So 
So five done, right? So now you try to put the second order, which is this one, right? So you say second order. Okay, then it's asking another five, right? Just to confirm. Okay, sorry. So four, one, one, two, three, four, five, right? So now it's uh, 15, 15, 16, 17, okay. So the second order done. Let's be complete. Okay, so it's trying to put the first or uh, the uh, second order right to the staging. Now it's splitting the to the to the which staging. So we already pick, right? And then you you go to the to the staging. You don't still don't know which staging, right? So you do the sorting. Sorting to split, right? To different order. Then after that, you put to the staging. So if let's say these two different order have a different outbound staging, right? Let's say one Gen A, the other one is uh, another carrier for example, right? And then it, then it will split this time. But it will not ask for the scanning again because you already split the sorting. Then after that, this is to uh, put to the outbound staging. Right in this case, it's the uh, same outbound staging, right? But in uh, if you if you uh, do it uh, like a separate outbound staging, right? The system will direct uh, correctly, right? So this is the outbound staging, and then confirm the location. Then this is the uh, second order, right? Confirm in in this case, it's the same outbound staging. If it's a different outbound staging, then it will have a uh, suggest to the difference of bond staging because it's two order right that so this is uh about the picking right so when you see the uh, uh the inventory right the inventory now is changed to uh pick yeah you can see now it's changed to pick uh, this one five five so in this case, it's uh, two, two different order, two different uh, inventory is still under pick, right? If you go to the order, right? Go back to the wave and the order. So now it's already pick and it's already stitch. Okay, so if the first scenario, then it will just go to pick, but not yet stage. It's do a sorting. After sorting, then you put on the stage, then only go to the stage percentage. Right, so all this uh, allocation, pick and then stage, right? Uh, so this one uh, already done, completed both, right? So, uh, so this is uh, how you do the picking for the serialized uh, inventory. I hope it's uh, useful. Okay, so uh, thank you.